the most WTF Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom creations. Welcome back to Nerdist News, I'm Dan Casey, and today we're paragliding our way back into Hyrule to look at The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The critically acclaimed Nintendo game came out on May 12th and gave players the tools to let their imaginations run wild. But as it turns out, some people out there have some seriously concerning imaginations. And today we're going to celebrate the weirdest, wildest, and most WTF-worthy things that players are building in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And while we're not going to spoil anything about the game itself, if you haven't had a chance to play it and you're the kind of person that blames society for a video that you clicked on, leave now before you put yourself in a rotten mood. Well, excuse me, princess. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? Now, for those who don't know, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gives Link a host of new abilities. They can be harnessed to make wild, complex creations. For example, abilities like Ultra Hand let players make everything from extremely long bridges to reach seemingly impenetrable areas to building war machines that could turn Ganondorf into a fine red mist. Now let's get into what the players are actually building. Some folks, like Hunt Evs, decided that hot air balloons don't have enough in common with Beyblades. So they made this infernal monstrosity instead equipped with both flamethrowers and lasers. Now, I know that open world games can sometimes be a bit of a grind, but gamers are finding ways to literally grind through the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Players like Kari figured out how to make a skateboard by fusing a minecart to a shield. But you don't need an engineering degree to kickflip your way across the kingdom. Others, like Blessius, are simply shield surfing their way all around town. Now let me ask you something, is a Bokoblin base giving you a challenge? Well, Twitter's Idonum decided that tanking hits with a shield wasn't enough, so they created a literal tank instead. And if you were tired of getting nuked from orbit by Guardians in Breath of the Wild, TikTok's Soul Banana Zero has a better solution. Gather enough energy cells to power a small country and build a Pacific Rim-worthy mech of your very own. TikTok's Master Sword 098 had a similar idea. And this makes us wonder, how did the devs manage to fit Armored Core 6 inside of Tears of the Kingdom with this particular murder mech? And speaking of getting nuked from orbit, yes, you can literally build an orbital strike laser cannon like Sticky Draws G shared over on Twitter. Other players like Valx over on TikTok decided that blowing a Bokoblin to smithereens wasn't enough, so they made this flying war crime instead. And perhaps the most iconic player-made creation so far belongs to Zakuya, with what they described as a new divine beast. In fact, this particular divine beast dates all the way back to the year 2000, paying homage to the robot known online as Senkosha. And as Digital Trends' Giovanni Colantonio pointed out, the devs themselves made a pretty wild creation that could also be an early internet Easter egg. Or an Aster egg, if you're nasty. I'm so sorry. Other tributes to deep-cut internet silliness like Forrest Lastman's might leave you at a bit of a loss. But if you're tired of losing hearts to stacoblins or just cooking by hand, well, you can take things back to an even simpler time by building a Blackstone oil engine like Liz Kanekoi did. Or look back even further in the history books like Rob Fletch 1393 did with this foolproof method to beat both Greeks and Ganondorf in equal measure. And if you're wondering if folks are treating Koroks with both dignity and respect, don't worry, they aren't. Now, maybe this is revenge for making us collect 999 Korok seeds in exchange for a golden poo back in Breath of the Wild, but people out there like Pori Leaks are roasting them with a rotisserie. They're strapping them to rocket sleds like Yautrek, or going full Mad Max Fury Road like Valiant Exalted and using Koroks as blood bags strapped to the front bumper of their vehicle. Some people, like Ragafraga, are making amusement park rides that clearly need more rigorous safety testing. And others still are taking a slightly more sacrilegious route, but we'll let you find those on your own. Because in this case, literally everyone expects the Spanish Linquisition. Anyway, folks, there you have it. Those are some of the coolest, weirdest, and frankly wildest things we've seen players build in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And this is just the tip of the iceberg because the game has been out for less than a week. But tell us, what do you think? What's the coolest thing that you've built in Tears of the Kingdom? What's your favorite thing you've seen someone else make? Uh, oh! <laughs> And, and it's on fire. fire. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. And for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure you stay tuned to Nerdist.com. Nerdist.